I would say that he was extremely driven, extremely focused. I remember the first time I met him and uh, it was in the summer and he hadn't actually started his degree program yet and he was already meeting with me and asking me if there were any positions available in my lab. I would say he was a self-starter. He was one of those uh, people that saw possibilities, not obstacles. I think back to the people who mentored me and I feel that I'm passing the torch as it were and uh, mentoring others the way that I was mentored myself. Well, we always have talked about how important it is to do our work and even our thinking for the benefit of others. Uh, my wife and I probably contributed in some ways uh, to his development. It wasn't just us, uh, but we've always encouraged curiosity and critical thinking and, you know, discovery. Like, we were never content to just go for a stroll, uh, but we always would look underneath the rocks. We had to make sure the microwave in the kitchen was eventually designated as just a, a, a place for food, not for science experiments. He's always wearing a lab coat and his lab glasses, and the typical student would take five courses per semester and he'll take, he'll take seven or eight. Well, William is a type of person that just loves to embrace uh, education. So any challenge that you bring in front of him, he will not only do it, but he'll go beyond. I mean, it's a humbling experience to know that uh, my contribution in the classroom has made such an impact on an individual and that they could take that knowledge and be able to use it in an applied situation.